All right, you're all, we're back with installment number two of the power steering fabrication. I uh, just wanna kinda of walk you through the different parts. We got the original steering box, the sector shaft right here, um, the little gear that goes back and forth. Um, this shaft was much, much longer. It's been cut down. There's a little Borgeson um, connector, straight connector here that's going to get welded on. One end is three quarters, the other end is 11 16 spline, 36 splines for the Saturn View box that's over here, the power steering box. And this is kind of a something I cobbled together. Um, this is the original drive shaft component that hooks onto the base here. And then this other end is something that I rigged up that will kind of tie into that little bolt right there to hold everything steady. Um, just got the box. This is the new upper steering shaft housing. That's the original back there. This steering shaft housing uses the part that came with the Saturn View power steering box here. This is going to bolt on. This piece came with the Saturn View box as well. It had a steering column. <coughs> Excuse me. I recommend getting that. Um, this was cut down. It kind of belled out. I, I split it and whatnot so that it can be welded onto the original Land Rover steering shaft. This is going to slide in like yay. Um, I could have got a Borgeson collar, but this, this is pretty tight. I think this is actually better and, you know, say 40 bucks. So that's cool. And then over here is just a pile of dead parts that had to be sacrificed to make this whole little setup. So this is part A. I'm going to um, try to edit a video here and show you everything kind of situated in the rig. Okay, so here is a clip of the unit all put together. I need to rebuild the box. Um, I'm going to do that after I weld those spline shaft connectors together. So that's kind of where we are with our power steering unit. And here is a shot of the unit in place. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little bit of a modification. So here's everything. This is original um, length. The one modification I did have to make was um, I used a couple circle saws to cut that out. And I'll have to figure out a little box to cover that up, waterproof it. So I've been thinking about this. Um, you know, this is all fine and dandy if you do the eye booster brake setup like I have done, um, and your Land Rover is an automatic. If you're still running a clutch and you are still running your regular brake system, then it's going to be tight. Um, you know, because of this area over here having the Tesla batteries, I had to cock it this way, but perhaps you could have the motors sticking out that direction and make it work for your setup. Um, you may have to modify the mounting points for the clutch and the brake masters to make it all work. I think everything could be shifted over towards the side of the car if you were still running a clutch and a brake. Um, but you know, your, your situation may be different. Do your own research, not financial advice. You know, but anyway, it's just, it's an, an, uh, it's a, it's an idea. So take it for what it's worth. I'm, I'm liking it. And, um, once I get it up a little further, I will post again.